Hey guys, what is going on? This is Larknock1 slash and welcome back to part 21 of my Let's Play of Civilization Beyond Earth. We are getting close now to the end of the game. We have 16 turns until the Emancipation Gate is completed, and then you can win 10 turns after that if you had an angel that's fully leveled at every turn. We don't, so it'll probably take us more like 14. Okay, so right now I'm working on buffing my economy out the butt. That's going to help considerably when we go to buy angels. Um, and we have a standing army out here that we probably don't need anymore. So I'm thinking we can probably delete a bunch of these units. Just the ones that we don't really need anymore. Hmm. Let's reduce our military size just by a little bit. Feel bad retiring them, but oh well. I like to think of it more of like, yeah, more like a retirement than uh, basically being told that uh, they, you know, been being killed or something like that. So let's get these guys home. Just for the sake of symbolism, we'll try to get our men home. And while we're at it, this worker finished. So we can get over here and build a uh, generator there as well. Okay, so we have a trade convoy here. Uh, again, Gensrig is where we want to be trading. For those extra bolts. And then, alternatively, we can choose who else to pump out the butt. Who is really worth being pumped? I'm going to say Ninit Tin deserves to be pumped. Actually, Kuyan. Kuyan deserves to be pumped. Why not? And these guys can kind of just chill now. Everyone can just chill. Chill out, bruh. You don't have to be mad. Let's just keep getting guys home to uh, workers' home to work on factories near Tiangong. Which will all be worth it. If they can even really decrease the time on this gate by like three turns. Because right now we're just trying to get time on this gate down. And then uh, reinforcing the gate down as soon as we can. Ah, the special forces are being engaged by drones. Pow pow. Get killed. We got a feed site hub done in at 10. I'm um, thinking we can build a weather controller. Um, certainly. We can really take a bunch of guys off of... Uh, off of some of these bio wells and build uh, factories instead if we can get even one bio well sorry even one weather controller up to help us grant food around so this guy's fully healed just have him fortify until he can get out we'll blast this get these guys take apart that nest this guy has finished his magrail our magrail route is almost done. The magrail there. This guy is the last one working. He is two turns away. So what we can do now is we can really just help improve these tiles out here. We'll just build farms. Why not? Go downside. I don't want to have to really pay for anything out here. And see if we can't begin building more factories. So we are going to build over that, uh, that tile there. Cut out food a little bit. Um, and I don't want to force that tile to be locked anymore. Only well, there was a way to... I guess we can lock that tile then. Hmm. Well, I just want to get these factories done. And stay healthy while we're at it. At least insofar as I don't want to lose production. Okay, so this guy is done. Let's set him up. And here we can build a generator. Tan is working out to be a wonderful cash cow. Um, it's making 19 energy right now, and we're not even focusing the generators, nor are we really done, um, because we do have three more generators left to build. It's going to look great when it's done. Alright, so Zen Fielding's a little bit closer to that, uh, uh, what do you call it, transcendence victory? 
And, you know, we can really start deleting some of these units. This guy doesn't need to be around. Give me more energy return. And up here, we finish our Thorium Reactor, so we can build uh, Alien Preserve. Let's just build some cool stuff up here. Alien Preserve, Civil Crash, Eat Site Hub, Soma Distillery, in that order. Why not? Let's get these Special Forces south if we can. Then we'll retire them. They've done such work abroad. And another nest they find. We always require of our men and women I guess robots and machines to get work done, fight for their country, to come back and honor us. They fight so we don't have to. And we will finally acquire that Fraxite tile. Thank you, game. Thank you. In 15, 15 turns, ball time spans. This weather controller can be unleashed for maximum effect over some of these critical food spots. Actually, those are not critical food spots. These are critical food spots. Um, I'm sure we're working at least three of those tiles, so we should get three food out of it. Checking in. Yep. So it's going to help our food a little bit, so we can take people off of some of the other tiles. And here, I'd like to just build... An angel. Yeah. We want angels that we can flood the gate with. As is necessary. Here we can just keep building farms. It really doesn't matter. Any improvement's really better than nothing. In three turns, all of our mines will be creating energy. And suddenly Gong Ren will be producing a lot more energy because of all these mines. Trade convoys. Mm, nothing to Tiangong possible, so we'll just keep on going with that. Quest redacted. Perform covert operation of foreign trigger. No, sorry, we cannot do that. Not worth our time or effort at the moment. Check out covert ops. Hmm. Could reassign this guy. Um, and that would give us just over two more health. That might be a wise decision as these factories start to pop up. One just finished. Yep, it's definitely a wise idea. Alright. Let's reassign him to HQ. Hopefully get our health back up. So we definitely be want, we want to lock into that tile. Force us to get those extra bolts. And cut the time on producing this gate down. So I'm thinking that we do likewise here. I want to just keep on building these. And we have enough energy that I really don't care. Um, so we'll just construct another manufacturer there. On the river. Hopefully we'll get this resistance done in a few turns. Uh, the martial law will take seven more turns. Um, and then we can actually buy health buildings in Kesempatan. And we'll get our health back up real quick. Let's just keep getting these generators. We're going to win on the economy side of things here by being able to buy all the angels we need. Surely, the glorious PAC Empire is the best. Let us get these apostles home. You have mastered the art of keeping a garden in perfect shape, especially since we have started growing titanium. What does it look like to grow titanium? Who knows? Aging and senescence. And you experience any emotion other than revulsion, then you are held captive by romance and must emancipate your own thinking before you can help your fellow humans. That's honestly my favorite quote in this game. Um, I think it's just very, very powerful. So I totally forgot to do a timer. Um, that's fine. Vindicator, don't care, doesn't matter. Ambassador. Doesn't really matter. Um, oh, the ambassador plus the angel looks badass. <laughs> Let's, um, that one. Doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, what do we want to tech for next? We could 
just grab vertical farming and that would just give us some more energy and food. Um, I'm not opposed to that. Or, you know, I like the original plan over here though. With uh, three turns and we'll have tons of extra culture and not science, but culture. What's a culture? All right, so we did finish that generator. So let's go ahead and remove that uh, forest and we'll try to see if we can build another one. The thing I want to do is go ahead and just buy the titanium mine and then send this guy out there to improve it. Okay, we can just keep on improving these tiles. Gong Ren. Yep, looks good. Just making sure that we aren't passing up a trade route to the capital of all places. And another manufacturer down. Which has reduced our time to just 10 turns. And let's see if we can't build us another. What are we looking at? What are we looking at? Our trader out in the capital. Oops. Ooh, alright, seven volts for the capital. Wonderful. And we're down to just nine turns. Wunderbar! LOD has constructed the Sinosher. That is a cool wonder. Too bad we are at turn 260 and uh, game's almost over. That's where we're gonna win with an emancipation gate. Do you change the steps in the dance of life? Or does the dance of life change your step? Okay, so one of the things we want to do at this point is start building uh, a bunch of prime CNDRs um, and having them in position to enter the emancipation gate when it finishes. Because we need to be putting in a unit a turn to really get maximal use out of this. So there goes another um, Manufactory. Thankfully, it doesn't really decrease production yields that much. So these are helping out quite a bit. And let's just throw in a random generator here. Why not? There goes the Fraxnet mine that we just finished. And go ahead and build a paddock here. Alrighty, looks good. Don't really want to waste too much of my time here. And we can build another manufacturing. I'm not opposed. I thought Tiangong isn't starving for some odd reason. In fact, it's growing. I don't understand. Like, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> I guess it's all the trade routes. Um, makes sense to some extent. And another manufacturing done. Four manufacturers. We'll have six when we're all, when we're all done. Okay. Um, I think it's probably just wise to just build mag rails in these last several turns that we have for these workers, and that'll really help getting our guys in. So now what we want is either science or culture for Sermon's Infinity level. I'm gonna go with culture because we really don't need science at this point. We have everything we need. Additional virtues might be nice, but again, that's culture. So we finished our angel here, which is absolutely awesome, and he looks so, so cool. Let's get him up to enter the Emancipation Gate. And we'll just keep on building farms. We'll have him stationed in the Emancipation Gate. And this guy can finally build his generator. Hmm. Arms get built so quickly. Our special forces made it home through that field and somewhat of so much miasma. And we will retire them once we heal them to fall, just to salute them and the the effort they gave to protect this glorious country of ours. City connection broken. Tiangong. Kesempatan. Did we lose our open borders? Aye, we did. Hmm. Let's try to reopen those. Bienvenido. Alright, solid. Martial law will be restored in three turns. We'll have access to really buying health buildings in Kesempatan. 
or constructing them as need be. We can put this angel in position to move him in. And we really want these mag rails up in time. Six turns. Trade convoy. Get that to Tiangong. Heal up these guys. Next turn. We're racing steadily towards the end of the game here. Nanothermite completed by Suzanne Fielding. Six little turns, and then that gate is up. Oh wow, our health jumped up there. I wonder what happened. Hmm, maybe it was the revolt ending or something? But I will not complain. It's quite good. Let us get another prime CNDR and our angel down there. Hmm. Move the cinder out of the way. Get them all in position. And keep building these mag rails. Just like that, that generator is done. We can build... I'm gonna build a bio well there. Why not? We do have level 1 purity. Is there anything good for us? I guess we could get... Um, we already have access to this. We need to get to level 2 first. Why not go for the deep memory? I mean, I could do... I could uh, use two virtues. Especially at this point when, when they cost so much. Um, that it would just be nice. We will retire him. He fought bravely and honorably. Bless you. We could send him back to Earth, actually. You know what? We retired him, the first squad. The second squad, we'll send them back to Earth. They deserve it. Increase those trade routes. Get the angels ready. In just four turns, we will descend angels upon the Earth. That, that looks... Yeah, I didn't even think about what I was saying as I said that. But that is freaking badass. Angels will descend upon the earth. I love how it incidentally stands for something else. But it's totally just angel. Here we'll build the bio well. This apostle. Let's just get him down. I'm going to identify him by him being a little damaged. And, Prime C and D are completed. Let's just keep on building more of those. Oh, we can't. We're out. Uh, oh, well. I mean, I guess we'll just focus on energy then. Because really what we want to be able to do is just buy angels. Not much else matters right now. Because we just have to descend upon the earth. And then the game will be over. Let's lock us into that tile. Three turns until that gate comes open. And we can start deleting these workers. No longer necessary. This guy isn't necessary either. Adios, muchachos. Okay, we are getting there. One virtue for me. What shall I grab? You can get this one. I mean, for a bunch of energy. I imagine at this point that would be a lot. Or I could get this to help us build angels as we need them. Hmm. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to go ahead and just grab this one. We have the time we could probably grab that but I don't think we will anyways that increased our energy yield considerably so let's just get 
him in position to do what they all must do. In two turns, the gate will be open, and we shall return to Earth. You know what? We'll treat. We'll treat our men, our special forces. It's not optimal, but uh, we'll treat them. They will be the first ones onto the home world. They shall open the gates for our brethren. Lining up on the border, eh? I see how it is. This is why we remained a small military here. Start deleting these guys, yep. Just like that, in two tur in one turn, I'm actually gonna uh, take these this ton and put it into the mode it was always intended on being in, which was in energy mode, because it is now officially the Xenomalayam capital of the world. <laughs> it's glorious to see a city like this. If we had solar collectors, it would be only a little bit better. Okay, Mr. Wallet City. How are you? 41 energy out of one city. That is quite something. Compare that to the capital, for example. 55 energy, but you see the capital has several advantages um, that we cannot even consider here. Namely, the Xenomalayam is producing 7 energy itself. But it's, com it's basically producing about a third of our excess, which is really quite something. Okay, let's just put these all in industrial. Send this guy down here. The gate will be open next turn. And the magrail has been completed. This magrail is done as well, so we can kill this guy. We have 116 bolts in the city of Tiangong. Tell him to do nothing until we can improve that Phyraxite mine. Which we should be getting in just one turn. You know, we have some intrigue in this capital, so let's actually swap a covert agent there. It's going to reduce our health by like two. Ah, well. We now have access to Kesempatan. And time is up, guys. So hopefully, next time we will finish this game. And we will conquer Earth with our hordes of cybernetic warriors. Until then, take care, guys. Oops. Uh